episode of Flip and Customize. Today what we have in the shop is actually my daily. It's a 2015 GMC Sierra All-Terrain 1500 that we, uh, on a previous video, we just installed the three and a half inch Rough Country suspension lift. So at the end of the day, it basically looks like a three quarter ton. I haven't put my big tires on it or anything yet, but uh, another upgrade I want to do to it today are we're going to install tow mirrors. Um, and nothing fancy for tow mirrors. What we've got here, and actually these are just eBay tow mirrors. They're not high end, they're not super expensive, but they were actually decent, had really good ratings. Um, these ones here that I got, there's so many different variations, so many companies that are making them. But these ones are what they call the manual fold, manual extend. So these won't power fold in anymore like these ones do. So that kind of is a bummer, but much cheaper. Um, they do have the, the uh, clearance markers on them. So these will come on with your headlights, with your uh, park lights. I got the smoke lens for mine. These are also your blinker. This, this is also heated and powered. So this is a power adjustable mirror. It's heated. It has the blinker in it, which these do too. And it has a reverse light. One thing to, that I'm going to make a note of to show you here is your factory mirrors, at least on the half tons, are mounted with three studs, okay? These aftermarket ones, or at least most of them, come with four studs. So you will have to drill another hole because your door panel, although it's stamped where the hole would go, you need to drill another hole for that. And they don't mention that anywhere. So to be honest with you, the directions are non-existent. Um, and the wiring, it will plug into your main harness. Uh, there are a few other uh, things we have to do as far as wiring if we want the clearance markers and reverse lights to work, which we do, so we'll be doing that as well. And to show you what I mean about the studs, I've already done the other side, but this is, so this is the driver's side. See the three studs here? The fourth one would go here, and that's something you'll have to do and drill. Um, this isn't like a super detailed video, I just kind of wanted to show you some tips because it's things that I learned and I was looking for and I couldn't find some of the just highlighted tips on it. So what we'll do is we're gonna pop the door panel off, nothing, no brain surgery there. Um, we're gonna take the factory mirror off, we're gonna mount, uh, drill a hole, mount the new one up, and then do some wiring. So here we go. And different trim levels are a little different, but you need to pop this little cover off. There's a plastic cover here, it snaps right off. There's one down here, there's a screw here, there's two here. You pop this, this trim panel out right here, which start from the bottom and you it literally pops out and then pull down that comes off and exposes some screws behind it that you've got to take off okay there's also screws down here there's two more screws uh see this one right there and then this whole door panel will pop off this way pull it out from the bottom and then up and that'll come off then this trim piece right here is actually one piece and you that um there's no fasteners on that that just pops out Give you three screws for your mirror, undo your wiring harnesses, and then we'll get to the door actual wiring itself. There is some wiring that you have to do on this, um, so just be aware of that. All right, door panel's popped off. Just want to mention a couple things is the weather strip that's on the door panel itself, it's a pain if you leave it on the door panel to put back in the door the way it mounts. I find it easier to pull it out. There's some metal clips right here. Pull those out attach it to the door itself. And then when you put the actual body panel back on, it'll just snap right on. Um, it's much easier. And do yourself a favor, the actual, where the uh, door handle attaches, there's a cable system right here. Mistake I made on the other side, put it together without putting the cable back. So guess what? This came apart, or the other side had to come apart again. Um, yeah, lesson learned, so you don't have to do that. But this uh, big plug right here is the main plug for your door. It's just a lever that you pull down and pull the harness out. And this is what the door looks like with it stripped off. Here's that cable I was talking about that you got to reattach. And the three fasteners for your factory mirror. And this is right here where you'll have to drill that fourth hole. And I'll show you that as soon as I pop this mirror off. All right, I just popped this hole right here through. So now we got the four mounting holes for the aftermarket mirror. And I think most mirrors are this way. They may, they're all going to be a little different, but at least the cheaper Amazon eBay versions are this way. And what you want to do, it's about a three eighths hole, which will have plenty of room for that stud to go through is like anything, it's bare metal right here. I'm going to hit that with some touch up paint before I mount the mirror. Then we'll get the mirror bolted in. I'll show you the wiring, which we're going to start by pulling this. It's hard to see connector this rubber connector and everything out of here it's kind of a pain but 
it can be done. All right, so here's the wiring. The main harness that comes with the lights that's gonna come through here is the main plug on it is plug and play and it plugs into your factory harness. It has an additional pigtail on it and it comes with this wiring harness here. And you got a black, white, blue, and red, yellow slashed wire. And this also plugs into that harness. And what this is for is your daytime running lights, um, your reverse lights, and the ground park lights, I believe. Um, so what you need to do, what we need to do is take the blue and the white wire only, separate them out, and those, the blue and the white wire only, are the ones you actually have to do some hard wiring through the door. So you pull out this harness where it goes into the door panel. It's just a plug so you can get in there. And then you also, you're gonna wanna pull it out of here, out of the door itself, just so you can get, get the wire through with your fingers. It's gonna snake through this rubber boot, which is a nightmare because this is tight. I pulled the top of this boot off where it goes into the truck, just cause I wanted to show you. There's a uh, violet, good color, violet um, clip that holds this whole harness in. And this clip snaps back like this. And by doing that, it allows the heart, the, uh, then, you, then the uh, plug can come out. So just something you want to remember there. And you want to run your blue and white wire through that clip so the clip doesn't pinch that wire afterwards. So basically what I got to do is take the blue and white wire, which is your reverse and your, what did I say? Reverse and marker light. Um, and it's going to go through here and come out over here. I will verify that it is that is the two uh, color wires and let you know. All right, so what we did is we took our blue and white wire from that harness. We ran it, we put an extra hole through the grommet and the door, in the door, out through here, in through the factory boot, and out into where it's gonna get back fed into this plug because the truck itself is wired. And I confirmed the blue and the white wire, excuse me, the white wire is for reverse and the blue is a clearance light. These are the two that you have to run back because your uh, half tons didn't have those. But the truck is wired for it, at least the 2015 is. Uh, I don't know about previous years, but this one is. Um, it will get run through this uh, violet clip as well. And I had to order some specific little um, GM specific clips that's gonna go into this plug. And I'll show you those too. So, so there's your blue and your white wire. They give you a ton of wire in case you gotta run it further, but leave yourself enough slack that you just make a, I don't know, a six inch loop. This is, I got the uh, mirror just temporarily bolted in here just so we had the harness from the mirror. The harness from the mirror plugs right into the factory harness. There's two pigtails on it. And what that is, if your truck had the clearance and reverse lights and everything on it, it would have an extra pigtail in your harness that you would just plug into that, you'd be done. These half tons, at least the ones that I know, don't have that. So you plug that into your factory harness. Then your uh, the harness right here from the blue and white wire, sorry, is going to plug into this, into one of these small plugs here. And then the black and white wire that's left, so you have two wires that are left. The black and white wire is just the ground for the system. I just run it down to this stud down here with a uh, uh, ground head on it. And then the red and the yellow is the signal on glass. So these ones have that, and my truck had that as well. So the truck is wired with that as well. Uh, a little easier. That one you're just going to cut short and cut this one off from the back of the plug. This is the red yellow wire and splice them together. And that will be your signal on glass. So the only two added features that it didn't have that you've got to do is the reverse and the clearance lights on these mirrors. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and just kinda of wanna give you an exp explanation of the wiring. Like I said, they give you plenty. We'll be cutting them short, run the ground down to here, splicing the yellow uh, signal on glass, yellow red wire to this one, from this one, and then this just simply plugs in and then any other wiring we have to do is down here on this end. So this door could be buttoned right back up. All right, all wiring on the door side of it is complete now. And that's the yellow red uh, signal and glass that we connected because your truck is wired from that already. Backed into the actual aftermarket light itself connector. There's that four plug connector with the blue and white wire, which is the reverse and the clearance light, which is on the front of the mirror. Pulled down through into here. And our black and white, which is the ground, I ground it down here on the stud. I just got to groom these out, zip tie them on. The mirror is all bolted in. We got our additional hole here. 
like I said, we'll, we'll groom it out and we're gonna snap the, the door panel back on because this part is done and then finish up with this stuff and this install's done. Okay guys, we actually jumped over to the other side of the truck because the lighting's better in this side of the shop, but I did confirm it. Your blue and your white wires, um, your blue is your marker lights on the front of the mirrors and the white wires are the reverse. The blue goes in pin 11, the white goes in pin number nine and that's what I mean by pins. This connector right here is completely numbered and I believe 11's right here and nine's like right here um, facing me. So in order to do that, and it's numbered on both sides so you can see it good, you need to get yourself these specialty connectors, of course. And I actually had a hard time finding these because um, it's not your everyday connector. There's a good view of it right there. And I ended up using a company called TE Connectivity. Uh, great company. I was able to find what I needed quickly. And that is the part number that you're going to need to do this. 969-005-2 from TE Connectivity. And what I'll do is I'll try to put the link into the description as well. Um, that'll save you a lot of time and research. You're going to need two of these. And you're going to clamp them on to the wire. Strip it back. Clamp it on. And one other thing to remember is on these uh, connectors right here, um, there's a this violet tab push pin right here. From this side, from the back side, it has the same thing, GM logo facing you. You're gonna push on that, it's gonna click in, and what that does is it allows you to push those pins into the, the uh, ports. So blue, nine, white, I mean, excuse me, blue, 11, white, nine. And then you're gonna, um, after these connectors are on, simply slide it right in. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, there they are. They are in place. And blue is in, it's so hard to see in here. Go focus. Blue is an 11 and white. Excuse my hands here, I'm doing my best guys. White is a nine, so white is a nine, blue is an 11. And they are numbered on the front too, so you can verify that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and tuck that back in and plug it in. And there you have it. Uh, let me go ahead and see the blinker on glass there. And the parking light, park light, excuse the uh, truck is actually pretty dirty because they uh, <laughs> we had to use it before we finished the job. So, but anyway, that's the gist of it as far as wiring goes and stay tuned for the next episode because we're gonna change these mirror caps. It's pretty simple. Upgrade those to a glossy black to match the body of the truck, which is really dirty right now. <laughs>